Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. First off, I'd like to ask a favor. If you're a new uh, viewer of my channel, this is the first video you've ever seen, or if you come back to my channel every week and never miss a video, uh, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up on the video. It really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Uh, so YouTube shares my videos with uh, people that haven't seen my videos before and other people that are into uh, die casts and vans and stuff. Uh, it's a lot of work filming these videos, editing them, uploading them. Uh, sometimes it feels like homework and I kind of procrastinate and put it off. Uh, but if you guys, uh, you know, show me some love with some thumbs up and, uh, leave comments on the videos and stuff, it really helps my channel and I would really appreciate that. Uh, let's get right into what I got this week. I got a pretty good handful of different die casts for you to check out. Uh, some of this stuff is a little bit older and some of this stuff, uh, a few items I got from eBay. Uh, I think a lot of this stuff I actually got from... Uh, SC Diecast. Uh, this isn't a paid, uh, paid sponsorship, uh, but I do get a lot of stuff from them. Uh, they come to our local diecast meet, so I get a lot of my diecast from them, and then I don't have to hit all the stores and waste gas money. So there's a little info if you want to check them out. They have a Facebook page, and they do a lot of uh, selling on Facebook. They might be uh, still on eBay and possibly Amazon, uh, but hit them up on Facebook. They do ship uh, check them out. Really good people. And they always give me great deals. But I have paid for everything in this video. So this isn't a sponsored video. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I got two different uh, cool uh, Matchbox uh, Nissan vans. This is called the Nissan NV van. You can see it on the bottom here. Nissan NV van. Uh, it's not the prettiest van. It's kind of got like a big weird snout on it, like almost like a pickup truck with a van back on it. But it is a van, and uh, it's just a dollar car. So I figured I would, uh, you know, buy a few of these and collect them. I'm not sure how many are out. I think there's at least three because I know I have at least one already, and I have, and these two are uh, two more liveries. So I figured we would. Uh, crack those open and check them out today uh, if you're not familiar with uh, this Nissan NV van uh, it doesn't really give a whole lot of description there it's pretty much just licensing stuff on the back of the card I always give try to give you a shot of the card and then we'll crack it open and check it out in detail in the second half of the video that's how I usually do it so we'll set those two aside and we'll crack those open I got a recolor, uh, this uh, Scat Pack uh, Dodge A100 from M2. Uh, this is just a recolor. It's kind of in like a burnt orange, like brown color. Not the prettiest color. Uh, but I do like the, uh, the muscle car styling and the paint scheme. Just not a fan of the color. And I already have, let's see. Uh, including the raw that I have, I have three of these exact paint schemes already, just in different colors. I have the lime green, purple, and then I have the raw. Um, so we'll open that up and check it out in the second half of the video. Uh, I got this. This is from, uh, some sort of, uh, anniversary set or something. Uh, 67 Austin minivan. It's kind of like a Mini Cooper panel. Uh, I do collect this casting. There's some of the other cars in that set. I'm not sure what the name of the set is. If you know, uh, leave a comment on the video, please. I think it's some sort of a anniversary set, or it's called Blue and Pink, or something like that. It's a shame it doesn't say it on the card, but I know I think they're all like kind of a metallic blue and pink in this set uh, but it doesn't say what the name of the set is on it those are the other cars in the set uh, then I got this uh, this is kind of a funky Japanese uh, show truck almost like a, a box truck that's been uh, totally pimped out like a show van uh, Raijin Express not even sure how to pronounce that Raijin Express I think this is the second or recolor um, I have the original 
somewhere around here. I think this is either the second version for the year, like the recolor, or this is a second, a totally different paint scheme. I'm not exactly sure because I don't have that first one handy. Uh, there's a little info. Raging Express, Raging. Uh, but it's kind of cool looking. I mean, it's definitely funky and, and weird looking uh, for like a work truck. But it's like, you know, done up like a show vehicle. Uh, Japanese have some crazy stuff over there. Uh, and then we got some more cool stuff here. Uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. This is a fairly new casting. This is from the Deutschland Designs uh, Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Set. I This might be the first casting or the first design for this new casting i opened one in last week's video that was a different design so if you guys know which one came first uh leave a comment down below there's the other german vehicles in the set but i just wanted the van i didn't pick up any of the cars as i don't collect those but this one's pretty cool i like how it's you know, doesn't have like a Tootsie Roll design or, you know, some sort of commercial on it. It's just a cool uh, green paint scheme. So we'll crack into that. Then we got this really cool Disney uh, Premier, uh, you know, Premium Hot Wheels uh, Disney Onward Van, Guinevere. Really cool version. This one's been out for a while and I've had it stashed actually picked up two of these. I'm going to keep one carded. But this one will open in the video. Um, I think it was part of a... Uh, what do you call those? Uh, they have a set where it's like movies and... Pop, not pop culture, but... Some sort of movies and TV shows or something like that. Screen time or something like that. Or screen scenes or I don't know. I forget it. If you guys know, leave a comment. Uh, but yeah... Disney Pixar onward. So I'll be opening that. Really cool. Uh, glad to be able to open this finally. Because this is a really cool one I was pretty excited about. And like I said, I got uh, multiples of it. So I can have one to hang on the wall. And then last but certainly not least, unfortunately, this one we're not going to open. Uh, if you've done any uh, checking on eBay, I'm not really sure why, but this one goes for crazy money. And I've been looking for one for a long time. The card's not in the greatest condition. You can see it's got like some cracking in the card, like it was bent at one time. Uh, the, the card is fairly straight, but it does have a lot of uh, cracking in the design. This is from an old show that I used to watch when I was a teenager. Hardcastle and McCormick. It was a weekly show. Uh, about a judge and a convict that teamed up to track down bad guys and he drove this uh, uh, coyote super sports car like uh, kit car kind of a thing uh, on the show and on the packaging you can see there's a couple of uh, a couple of shots from the intro of the show and this is a racing champions slash Ertl. As you can see on the on the thing here, it says Racing Champions right here. But it also says www.ertl.com. So it's Ertl and Racing Champions. I think they work together. I'll give you a shot of the back of the card. Not a whole lot. Uh, it does give a description of the show. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read that or not, but... I'll try it. Hopefully it'll be in focus enough. If you want to pause it here, you might be able to read that. I'm not sure when this one was released. It says 2002 right here on the card. Um, so probably 2002, 2003, I'm assuming. Uh, but yeah, check out eBay. Uh, it's a very cool car, and I think I'm going to keep this one carded. I might have a loose one, but I'd really have to dig through my diecast collection because I don't really know if I do or not or it, or where it is. But uh, this one's going to stay carded. I think I paid like over 50 bucks for this. So 
and that was like the best price I could find and I've been looking for a while so uh, in carded good condition uh, these go for a lot of money I'm not really sure why uh, I guess it was just a really popular release. So, unfortunately, that's the only one we're not going to be opening in today's video. But stick around. I'll grab the turntable, adjust the camera, and we'll start ripping into all the other stuff. Okay, first we'll start off with the 67 Austin minivan. Pretty cool uh, metallic blue paint with some metal flake in it and some pink accents. Again, this is uh, kind of like a Mini Cooper panel pan. Uh, and it's a casting that I collect. Um, again, I'm not sure what the name of the series is. Um, but it's like a blue and pink series. Uh, just, uh, it's a mainline, uh, premium mainline set. So it's like the dollar twenty-five cars, dollar fifty cars or so. Um, and, uh, it just has like a little fancier paint job, but it still has... Uh, plastic wheels, probably plastic base. Uh, pretty cool version, though. It's got the little Hot Wheels logo on it. Here's a little shot of the closer shot. You can see all that metal flake. Number 54. You kind of have to hold it just in the light to see that, which is kind of cool. Uh, kind of like some five slot black fly five slot wheels with a little blue trim ring around the outside and then kind of like a plastic red chrome base on the bottom so just a little premium mainline there uh, next up we'll check out this Raygin Express super low uh, really cool, kind of like a, uh, it's a, a Japanese um, car style or trend, and it's got some Japanese lettering on it and like a, a dragon on it. Really uh, fancy. If you check out eBay, or not eBay, I'm sorry, YouTube, uh, you could probably find some cool videos on these crazy Japanese modified trucks. I think it's kind of a thing in India also to uh, have like a cu totally customized, modified work truck that's all like tricked out with like accent pieces and crazy paint and stuff. So pretty cool. It's like mostly chrome, uh, just a mainline car, dollar car, uh, just plastic wheels. Uh, this one if kind of feels a little bit light, so I'm thinking the whole body might be plastic and the base is metal Yeah Metal base on this one and the whole plastic the whole body part is plastic to try to Save money and I guess try to keep it in the the dollar range, you know What do you guys think would you rather just pay more than a dollar and have them? make them all out of metal and just have them up the price or are you okay with having the car be all plastic and and be cheap what do you think leave a comment but yeah i think it's pretty cool it's very weird and unique uh but i really like uh the paint scheme on the side of the bed the like uh Japanese dragon with the Japanese lettering on it, the kanji, or whatever they call it. Uh, that looks really cool. And there's a little bit of a design on the top. So, yeah. Raijin Express. Okay, next up we'll check out this uh, Nissan NV van. We got two different, two different designs. This one says Adventure on it, I believe. Adventure Team? Hot Matchbox Adventure Team? This is a Matchbox Nissan NV van, like uh, Nevada NV. Not the prettiest van, but it is a modern van that, you know, it's run on the streets right now that you could just go out to the dealership and buy. Um, it's kind of square and boxy, and it's got that big, weird, like, pickup truck snout on it. Um... So I think if you were working on this one, you wouldn't need to pull off the doghouse. It would. I'm pretty sure the, all the motors are going to be under the hood on this baby. Um, and then there's a second version. 
It kind of reminded me of like a Dale Earnhardt, like Mr. Goodwrench with the paint scheme. It's like black, silver, and red, but it's a Nissan Courtesy Shuttle. And uh, I kind of like this version. It's kind of cool that it has like the red tinted windows. And it goes with like the little bit of uh, red trim paint. Whoop. A little bit of red trim paint on the van itself. And uh, the silver ties in with like the silver bumpers. Probably got a uh, plastic silver base. Got a little uh, trailer hitch on the back. So if you wanted to uh, hook a little matchbox trailer to it or a camper or something, you probably could. Plastic gray base. Plastic wheels. But I think it's it's not bad. I think uh, what does it for me is the red tinted windows. I think that looks really cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, here's a Dodge A100 uh, with the Scat Pack muscle car paint job. I think it says Dodge Fever on the back. Uh, but like I said, this is a recolor. Uh, I've got a few colors of this version already. Uh, lime green and plum crazy purple and then I have the bare metal raw version uh, I'm not sure exactly how many different colors there are of this exact paint scheme but if you know leave a comment uh, I'm trying to be a completist with this Dodge A100 casting from M2 so uh, I'm trying to collect them all so I just want to make sure that I I have all the different colors. I'm kind of begrudgingly buying them. I'd, I'd prefer not to buy like eight different colors of the same exact design. I'd rather get, uh, you know, a different design, but uh, I don't really have much say in that. It's got the standard skinny wheels. I wish M2 would come out with like a, a pro street van, something with some fat meats and tires on the back. Let me know. Do you agree with that? Okay, let's see. We got this cool uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter from Hot Wheels. This is a premium release. Deutschland Designs, I believe. Uh, just black and green. It's got the utility rack on top of the van with a brush guard in the front and a ladder on the back. I think it actually has... Um, uh, like a skim plate, I forget what they call it, uh, on the underneath the front bumper, there's like a plate, so it can go over rocks and stuff and not get damaged, skid plate, so there's the little utility rack, I guess if you're into doing uh, dioramas, you could probably throw some stuff up there, like some spare tires from an M2 car or something like that, some stuff you have laying around, maybe a couple of gas cans or something, or even have somebody sitting on top. It's got rubber wheels. Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Tourer. On the package, it says, just says Mercedes-Benz Sprinter on this release, I believe. But on the other one, it did say Tourer. Uh, looks like it's got rubber tires, but they're just uh, smooth, slick, no uh, tread on these tires. There's the ladder. Uh, nice painted taillights. Spare tire. Painted headlights. Grill emblem. And then you can see it's got that little skid plate piece on the front underneath. The little dots there. But yeah, pretty cool piece. Uh, I think it would be cool if they came out with this version and did like a wild 70s paint job on it. And I could do without the like utility rack on top but uh, that's just my opinion and then last but not least we got this awesome uh guenevar van from the disney pixar movie onward uh i think they've had multiple different uh toy releases of this but i think this is the first uh premium hot wheels release where it's really detailed and close to the uh actual uh, movie car from the cartoon animated movie 
So very cool. It's got different wheels on it, front and back. I mean, it's supposed to look like a really beat up van uh, in the movie. You know, it's got mismatched wheels on it and, you know, the bumpers tied on with straps and stuff. Uh, it's supposed to look like it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, like it's got one fender flare on the front, but there's not one on the back. Stuff like that. Bumpers kind of sagging on one side on the front. And then the mismatch wheels. It's got the cool uh, moon-shaped porthole windows on it. And kind of a funky uh, rear tire, spare tire cover on the back. It's pretty detailed though. Let's check out check it out in more detail. Like look at the the rear uh, windows have a bunch of stickers on them, so that's a lot of really cool detail. It's got some fancy paint on the um, spare tire cover. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a compass or something. Uh, you can see it says Guinevar on the license plate. It's got a bumper sticker. A little exhaust pipe there. Peeking out from underneath the rear bumper. Painted taillights. It's got painted door handles. So it's really detailed. Not much on the top. Let's take a look at the side. You can see, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be dirt or rust on the bottom. That light orangish brown stuff at the bottom of the van. Underneath the doors. Really cool, uh, like Pegasus paint job, like a 70s van might have. A cool uh, mural on it. So you can see it looks like it's got some tape on duct tape holding the like fender flare or the wheel trim on the front, and there isn't any on the back. The rear wheel doesn't match the front wheel, and uh cool looking front bumper you can see it's got like a belt or a strap bungee cord holding the front bumper from sagging on the passenger side there so very cool piece uh i'm not sure if it's all metal it kind of feels like the bottom is metal it's definitely got some weight to it uh, even the wheel tires are mismatched. The front has tread on it and the rear are slicks. So that's kind of funky. But yeah, very cool piece. Uh, definitely pick this one up, guys, if you're a, a fan of uh, die-cast fans or, or the movie itself. Very cool. All right, guys, here's everything for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informational. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can also check me out on my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and you can find me on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.